Bevy people. Today I'm going to start the build project by constructing the platform and the carport tent structure. If you haven't done so already, you should watch the first video in my build playlist where I explain my dilemma and why I'm building this space. For those of you who don't know, I'm documenting the build of a multi-use space for a DIY gym slash photo studio slash bondage room. Due to the time of year being the rainy season and we're approaching winter, what I'm starting with is a sort of temporary structure. I need this platform and tent built before the rains come so I can work on the gym and bondage equipment throughout the winter. Then once the spring hits, I can backtrack a bit and work on a true foundation and build a more permanent structure on top of that foundation. With that said, the build methods I'm using in this video aren't ideal. I'm well aware that they aren't standard or up to code. Keep in mind that the main purpose right now is just to get a basic platform built, put the tent on it, so that I can start moving forward by working inside of that structure for the winter. So all of you construction gurus out there, go easy in the comments. This is just a temporary thing that's only got to last a few months. So let's get this build party started. Now that I have the location picked out, I need to build some sort of basic foundation structure. The size of this foundation is going to be dictated by the size of the carport or tent structure that I'm building on it. So after poking around online for a bit, I've decided to go with this uh, carport garage type structure that I found on Harbor Freight. It's $199 right now, but I do have a coupon for it, and I think that comes out to $170 or something like that. It looks pretty sturdy and has steel pipes and a pretty good tarp, and the videos I've seen on YouTube about people using them as more permanent type structures looks pretty, looks pretty durable, so I'm going to go with that. So I want to utilize the slab that's up at the top of this hill. The size of the slab is about 8 foot by 10 foot or so, and then it like steps down, and it's a bit crooked and busted up, but I still want to use it to build the platform off of so that I at least have one area in the space that has a solid floor for the heavy gym equipment. So after cleaning up the space, I ran to Home Depot to grab a few supplies. I picked up some pea gravel, some concrete anchor screws, a few different sizes of cinder blocks, some 2x4s, and some OSB. Next, I dug out some holes to put the concrete pier blocks in to start leveling out where I'm extending the platform to. And then I just started laying them in place and like judging where they were going to sit within the structure as I started building the framing out of the 2x4s. It's hard to tell from the picks, but there are actually the three different slabs I'm dealing with here. All of them are at different heights, all are uneven, some are busted up. So I need to decide which ones I'm going to build off of and which ones that I'm going to build up and level to. To deal with these uneven slabs, I decided to build posts or stilts underneath the 2x4 frames, and this will help me level out the platform structure. By doing it this way, it allows me to use the main slab as the base, which is where all the heavy gym equipment will go, so that I can build the frame out from there, which will make the platform the right size to fit the carport structure. Then I took these thin flat cement blocks that I bought and put them under the edges of the framing to give them a solid base and level them to the other slab. I anchored them with metal angle brackets and cement screws. In places where the 2x4 frame was level with the slab, I just screwed in some more metal brackets to the slab and to the frame. Then once I felt that the frame was level enough, I added the OSB sheeting for the floor. I secured the OSB to the 2x4s as you normally would. I decided to use screws instead of nails because I had them, decking screws. And then in the back section where the OSB was leveled directly onto the slab, I used concrete anchor screws to secure that down. Then after the platform was built, I quickly threw a few coats of primer on it because it was about to rain in the next day or so. It took about three coats of primer to get it sealed and looking good. The OSB sucked up a ton of the paint. I picked up the carport and I'm ready to construct it today on the platform. It, it's 10 by 17 and it cost uh, 179 with the coupon at Harbor Freight. When I opened it up, I was pretty happy with the quality of everything. All the parts were labeled, the instructions were clear enough to put together. I'm not going to explain how I put it together. There's enough YouTube videos showing how this carport was, is built, and it was fairly straightforward. So that's about it. Phase 1 is complete, which now gives me a platform and a tent structure that I can work on throughout the winter. And now that I have my shelter built, I'm going to paint the floor, probably a dark brown or something like that. I can't stand this white primer color. I'm also going to install an LED light strip off of one of the pipes up top just so I can work at night. 
And after that, I'll focus on building the power rack for the gym, a workout bench so I can start bench pressing. I guess I got to make some weights. And then from there, we'll transform all that gym equipment into quote unquote furniture that could be used for bondage and on and on. So if you're curious to see where this project's going to go, don't forget to subscribe and follow this playlist. If you're a fan and want to help support my channel or any of the projects that I do, check out my Patreon page. There are different tiers of support starting at $5 and it goes up from there, all with different benefits. You can also check out our apparel shop at the bevyvip.com slash store. We also have an Amazon wish list of items that I want to add to the build and also a cash app link in the description below. If you are a model or just someone who is planning to sign up to OnlyFans or AVN stars, use our links in the description below when you sign up. You don't lose any money when you use our links, but we get a small kickback from the platform if you become successful. We offer some benefits when you sign up through us. If you're in the San Francisco Bay Area and you want some professional photos or videos taken of you for free, maybe for your Instagram or your OnlyFans or AVN accounts or even just for a Tinder account, then send me an email at markets at the bevyvip.com and we can set something up. I'm always looking for new models to collaborate with to build my new portfolio. I appreciate your support because most platforms like YouTube demonetize my content due to its nature. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the links in the description. This is Marcus. Be healthy, play safe, and good night.